Hey there, everybody. Hello, and welcome to uh, Relaxed Mail. Uh, this week, wanting to talk about uh, adversity and uh, what it is about adversity and three benefits that you can actually get from this this thing that we call adversity. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Relaxed Mail. And we're talking, like I said earlier, we're talking about adversity. And uh, why is it that, in raw reality, adversity is actually a really good thing that you actually want to uh, want to face. You see something, uh, some type of adversity, you want to be able to come at it and, and attack it head on. Um, because there's a lot of actual benefit from adversity. Um, and we're going to talk about the three big ones that uh, that happen, but there's also some drawbacks from if you don't attack adversity and you take care of it right then. When it comes to adversity uh, and the uh, and the negative side, we're going to tackle that part first. Um, and the big thing about adversity is it's it's a responsibility. And I used to always tell my kids, and they hated when I told them this, but. Adversity or uh, responsibilities are a lot like a bull. You can dodge them, all right? They're gonna come running at you and you can dodge them all you want. But eventually, you're not gonna be paying attention and that, that, that responsibility or that particular adversity is gonna come right up and just run you over. Yeah, like that guy. <laughs> so, you want to make sure that you, when a, something, uh, some type of problem, barrier, whatever you want to call it, um, comes about, it's better to just go ahead and attack that adversity right on. Now, why is it that you want, to, what happens with adversity? Why is adversity in, uh, in your life actually a good thing? Now, going through and you're struggling with a whole bunch of adversity, yeah, you, you get a lot of people going, oh, poor you. Why Why does this seem to happen to you? you got such a hard life. But at the same time, there's a lot of benefits that come about with that adversity. That's actually what we're going to talk about. The first one, though, is it makes you stronger. Um, there's that saying, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's referring to actual uh, adversity and, uh, and the different uh, effects that... Uh, come about when uh, when you're faced with a particular struggle. When you are uh, trying to overcome whatever obstacle is in your way, um, there is that chance that you're going to, um, you're gonna not uh, succeed. So you learn from that. And when you learn, you become stronger. When things, when you are faced with whatever struggle, you become more confident in your those actions. Um, the first time you venture into anything that is unknown, um, yeah, you're going to be a little on the uh, on the apprehensive. You're going to be unsure. You're going to be uh, disoriented, and that is um, that's part of the whole growth factor when it comes to facing an adversity. You grow, you become stronger. And the reason that you grow is because you now, next time you face whatever that adversity was, that big scary monster that you happen to uh, be afraid of at one time, it now helps you, you are able to see that problem and go, oh, I know what I need to do here. And so we uh, go and we are able to attack that uh, that problem faster, more efficient. And because of that, and because we know how to handle that particular uh, incident now, it actually helps you to become a better leader. So there's, that, there's an old saying that uh, Pharisees do not make a skilled sailor. And that's because 
rough when you're in a in a storm in a, on a boat it's a matter of life and death if you don't handle things properly you're going to take on water your boat's going to sink you might tear your mast down if you're on a sailboat your motor might become flooded and so you you are stranded you may get water in the in the fuel and you're going to be stranded if you don't know how to handle that problem uh, as it arises. There's a lot of adversarial uh, elements that come into play in the uh, when you're sailing in the ocean. And that's why you become a very skilled sailor very quickly when you were baptized by fire in that particular manner. So uh, it builds your confidence. You know what's going on and you um, when you become a uh, when you face those certain adversities, those struggles, those obstacles that are in your life, you also become, like I said, you become a better leader. And one of the pro uh, it, problems, one of the uh, one of the benefits of being a good leader, is that you actually are able to emote and appreciate the struggles your subordinates are going to have. So they see the the horrors that go on when you are you know in the middle of a of a, an intense negotiation but you understand that you're going to have to give stuff up the other side is going to have to give stuff up but in in the end you're going to have a good agreement you're going to have this uh this compromise instead of you're not going to you know that you're not getting everything they know they're not going to get everything but your subordinates are they're wanting to get out get it all they think they have to have it all and you that's a very unreasonable assumption so when you are when you face an, an adversity you become more skilled as a uh, as a leader you become stronger because you're more efficient at what you do um, and you also are more confident because you already know all the pitfalls of what that adversity, uh, adversarial obstacle is. So there you go. Just real quick, short, sweet, and to the point, folks. I um, actually had some notes. That's why I kept looking down. So anyhow, thank you very much for taking the time to, uh, to watch this. If you could like uh, like this uh, this. Uh, this channel and and give us a uh, give a thumbs up and uh, and also if you would uh, hit the uh, the bell that way you will be notified whenever we end up uh, putting out a new show I'm going to try to crank these out a lot more I've actually got three or four episodes that I'm going to be putting out so you're probably going to see me wearing this um, who switched uh, Brenda don't ask me who it is all I know it's a band my wife saw it and she liked the shirt I think the shirt's pretty cool the shirts also covered now in uh, our new cats fur so uh, which i just realized so <laughs> anyhow folks you are amazingly awesome stay positive and the day's not near as long as you think it is and it is just as fabulous as you think it will be so anyhow you take care brian with relaxed mail we'll catch you later